Tonight, we're going to talk about tomorrow night. Now, before we talk football, you grew up in Chesapeake. You went to Indian River High School, then mm -hmm. the University of North Carolina. But like a lot of pro athletes from Hampton Roads, after you finished your NFL career, you decided to come home, have your raise your family, and get into business. Yes, yes. Um, I have to give a lot of credit to my, to my wife for <laughs> agreeing to it. Uh, unfortunately, we've been married at that time, you know, 20 years and uh, she had lost both of her parents so we had purchased property in Cary, North Carolina with the intention of building a home there and she came to me and said you know have you thought about you know moving back to your hometown and I said yeah but you know, didn't want to take advantage of you know the situation you know with you and your parents not being here and at the time my father was you know was sick with diabetes I have a sister that's uh, four years older than me and she can't hear or talk and so uh, she knew that I, you know, we both grew up very close to, to uh, our family, and so um, at that point we decided, yeah, let's take a let's take a shot at moving to your hometown, back to Chesapeake, Virginia, and uh, uh, we actually kept the property and carried for a few years, and uh, you know things worked out so well that we end up selling that property and and continue to stay here. All right, let's talk football. The Redskins have no hopes. <laughs> of making the playoffs again they host the Cardinals Sunday with three games left to play what do they have to play for <laughs> well they better be playing for the opportunity to continue to have the uh, ability to play in the NFL and of course you know everyone says you know the NFL stands for not for long and especially when uh, you have the kind of season that uh, that the Redskins have had thus far but um, yeah, you're going to have management looking closely at the film, watching these last three games, and seeing you know who's motivated, you know who's going to try to mail it in, and uh, you know who who's interested in making this organization better. And and if uh, if uh, it looks like you you have some guys that are not totally giving their all, then you're going to question whether or not they need to be a part of the, the future of the Washington Redskins. Kirk Cousins made it a point to say this week: nobody remembers how you start. But everybody remembers how you finish. All these guys want to play football next year. It may not be in Washington, but that's what you're playing for, as you said. Actually, absolutely. And the film doesn't lie. And other teams are going to be watching this film. They're going to be watching you and see how you finish up the year. And so whether or not you want to continue playing with the Washington Redskins or somewhere else in the league, you better make sure that you go out there and you give maximum effort. And this is the NFL. This is the pros. Uh, hopefully, you know, you don't have to tell these guys that, that they don't need that extra motivation, that the fact that you have the ability to play in the NFL right now is enough motivation motivation for you to go out and give your all. But uh, if, if it's a situation where you have some guys slacking, it's not going to bode well for them to continue to play with the Redskins next year or also find an opportunity with someone else in the league. So what type of Redskins team do you think we're going to be seeing Sunday against the Cardinals? <laughs> I, I don't know. Hopefully we will get a, a good effort uh, out of all the guys that they will be professional and, uh, and, and, and go out and, uh, and try to make the fans happy. You are playing at home. Um, um, uh, and that, you know, we will, we will get a maximum effort out of those guys. But, but you never know. Uh, I have been miffed like so many others that the, the play has been so inconsistent. At times, they look like a very good football team, a team, a very talented team. And at other times, you know, it's just the opposite. And hopefully we will see a great effort out of these guys this week. William Fuller, thank you for your time.